Hello YouTube, it's me again. Um, I hope you can hear me okay. Um, the microphone should be picking me up. Um, basically today I wanted to try a new kind of uh, video. And um, what prompted this is I kind of do a similar thing in my journal. Um, and basically it's basically me journaling, journaling about my current makeup thoughts. I thought, you know, why not share it with the rest of you? Um, maybe this is something that the rest of you could get into and maybe we could start a conversation. Um, basically what I journal about, I journal about a lot of different things. Um, but this one, um, at least for this video, I thought I would start out by talking um, just about my... Come on. <laughs> I would start by talking about my, um, well, um, I guess you just call it my, um, my beauty journal. Um, I basically use the bullet journal system to keep it organized, but it's essentially, um, where I keep a lot of my, I, my YouTube ideas, um, progress checks on my project pan, um, and all sorts of different things. Um, actually, the last thing I put in here was my makeup inventory, and that took a while. Um, but I'm sure you've seen um, all sorts of other project panners keeping a notebook. Um, like I know um, Lena, uh, I can never remember the last four digits of her name because they're numbers, but she's a project panner and she's got a journal. Um, I know. I don't know if Amber F has one or not, but I know a lot of project panners keep a journal to keep track of their products, um, so they've got something that they can mark their products against, which I have done a little bit in my journal. Um, um, yeah, but my makeup inventory, I actually went through and did this kind of thing. Yes, I went through and listed um, every single makeup item I own. and. Um, my, my actual numbers and what I have in my makeup inventory will be in a different video. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Because so, I'm not going to get into that here. Um, but other things I've gotten here is... Yeah, that video should be up now. Is I'm going to be doing a reverse rouge um, with my empties. So I'll, instead of um, empties like every three or four months, I'm going to do empties at the end of each month. And it'll be um, makeup, skincare, um, actually going to be some oral care in here too, because just because um, because it said you could put um, anything that could be beauty related. And I know a lot of other people put like toothpaste in their empties or monthly empties. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to put my mouthwash in there, and I did. And I'll give you a little uh, preview of that. But there's how January is going so far for me. Um, so yeah, I've got that started in here. Um, I've also got the um, the instructions for the reverse rouge, and um, these are um, <laughs> um, the titles or the tiers for it too, and then just basically some FAQs. Um, um, let's see, what else can I show you? I've got some of my um, makeup goals for 2018 in here, and it's basically stuff like um, continuing to improve my um, my makeup skills, um, continuing uh, to make progress with my project pans. Um, I've listed out some things I want to go do go on a no buy, um, which I've already started. Um, it's got like I want to keep track of my empties, like using the reverse rouge challenge. And uh, I've also posted my end of year makeup empties, which I think is somewhere in the region of 20. And I'd like to see if I could do like maybe 25 or 30 this year, like using the reverse rouge and my product 20 pan that I'm working on. Um, speaking of which, there's some ideas for that on the other page. Um, yeah, there's a lot of. It took me a long while to get through my makeup stuff. Like here's the. Here's more like my 12 pans of Christmas. And then when I started, this is the start of my project uh, 20 pan. But there's also like various other things in here. Um, YouTube channel stuff. Um, 
thoughts on project pans I could do. Um, I've journaled a bit about doing a project polish, but I wear nail polish so very little that I don't know if a project polish would actually help that or just make it worse. So I've kind of been putting that off. Um, I also make notes on like other people's project pan tips and tricks videos. Like there's one from Amber F. There's one from Glamour with Grace, Pretty Pistol 86. There's Amber F's. I think I've got like one from Meg's Makeup 8 in here too. Um, I've also done some panning tags in here. I've got, got the panning pro tag questions and my answers to them. And uh, my Would You Rather Panning Edition. Um, I did that like two years ago though. Yeah, 2016 now. Um, I've also got one more Project Pan. And then here's one from... I've actually got two in here from LS. I've got a Makeup I Love section, which... Hey, if you want to see that. <laughs> it's only got one thing on it. I never really updated it. It's uh, the Blistex Orange Mango Blast Lip Balm. If you've never tried it, you should, because it's only a buck. Um, I thought I'd try one month, one palette, but that was kind of a fail. Um, I've got a What is Project Pan section. Uh, basically, my take on what a project pan is, which I think every project panner should do. Um, got a makeup wish list and I've only bought like a couple of things off it. It's just stuff. Like I've got two, two pages set aside for it, but I've only really filled in one page. And it's just stuff that I'm either thinking about or want to try or seems interesting at the time. I hardly ever go ahead and um, actually buy it. Um, and then this is like a makeup inventory overview. Um, I actually started tracking it somewhere else before I started tracking it here. This, that's why there's only a couple of columns filled in. Um, and then my personal um, goals and stuff, because I, I used to have a blog called The Beauty Project, and that's kind of what um, my YouTube channel, um, my book, um, and what my blog used to be. I don't run it anymore because I just do YouTube now. Um, but it's basically what my goals and thoughts were for my overall makeup collection and beauty products. And that's sort of what I started out my journal with. Um, but anyway, I think... Um, I know project, project panners get a lot of use out of journals, so I highly recommend it if you do project pan. Um, but even if you don't, even if you're just a makeup lover, something like this could really help you keep track of your collection. I mean, I'm not suggesting that, um, especially someone with a much larger collection than mine, because mine takes up several pages in and of itself, and I don't have nearly the amount of stuff like... Um, Emily Noel has, or Shanna XO, or even Jessica Braun. Um, I don't go through that, those, that kind of makeup. I just don't. Um, but I think, but it can help you keep track of like what color foundation you are from certain brands, um, what kind of things you like. If you like a certain formula, you can write all that down in here. Um, it's just a very handy thing to have. And if you, and even if you have a blog or a YouTube channel, it can help you keep track of that too. Because I keep track of um, what I'm posting and when. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this um, current makeup thoughts. Um, I plan on doing one of these each month. Like I said, I'm hoping to strike up a conversation. And um, yeah, let me know if you've used a um, notebook to help keep yourself organized, uh, either here on YouTube or with your makeup products or whatever other project that you happen to be working on. Um, don't, forget, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!